Hi there. In this video, I'm going to be sharing four steps that you can take if you have been stung by a jellyfish, followed by a few things that you should not do if you've been stung by a jellyfish, and at the end, I'll share a couple of preparedness and prevention tips as well. The information that I'm going to be sharing with you here comes from my personal experience as well as a lot of research that I have done. So first things first, if you have been stung by a jellyfish and the sting covers more than half of an arm or a leg, please seek medical attention. Step one, get out of the water immediately and as soon as you can, pour distilled vinegar on the sting. I recommend using white distilled vinegar, but in a pinch you can definitely use apple cider vinegar. Step two, if it appears that any tentacles have came off of the jellyfish and stuck to your skin, using gloves or tweezers, carefully remove the tentacles away from your skin. Step three, begin to take some natural antihistamines to help your body's reaction from the sting. If you're comfortable superloading on the antihistamines, I would recommend doing that. That means taking a lot of the antihistamines in a short period of time. And step four is to submerge the area of the sting in the hottest water that you can tolerate for at least 40 minutes. So fill a sink, a bin, a tub, or if the sting is on your torso, fill a bathtub up or stand in the shower for at least 40 minutes. Now a few things not to do if you are stung by a jellyfish. If you are stung by a jellyfish, do not urinate on the sting. Do not pour fresh water or salt water on the sting either. You can put the hot fresh water that I mentioned on the sting after you've done the other three steps. And lastly, do not scrape any tentacles away from your skin with a credit card or a razor. The reason to pour vinegar on your sting instead of urinating on it or pouring fresh water or salt water on it is because the vinegar immobilizes the nematocysts and stops them from firing their toxins. And the reason to pull the tentacles away from your skin rather than to scrape them with a credit card or a razor is because scraping them away is more likely to trigger them to continue firing, which you don't want. Pulling them away is going to give you less of the continuous stinging. So lastly, I'm going to share with you a few tips to be prepared and to prevent getting stung by a jellyfish. The first tip I have is to try and keep some vinegar with you in your car or your boat, whatever you take with you when you go swimming in the ocean. So try to have some vinegar on hand just in case the sting happens. You can also use a product like After Sting. This is not something I've personally used, but I would use it in a pinch if I didn't have vinegar. So this is for jellyfish stings. The next tip I have is probably the best thing that you can do to prevent getting stung by a jellyfish if you are swimming, which is to always try and wear long sleeves and long pants when you're in the water. You can wear something like a rash guard and leggings or actual swimming leggings or you can even wear a wetsuit, which is probably your best bet because they are a bit thicker than just a rash guard. But anything that is gonna be in between you and the tentacles of the jellyfish is gonna be helpful. The outfit that I just put on is an example of something you could wear in the water to create some sort of barrier in between the jellyfish and your skin. So this is just a long sleeve rash guard um, it's meant for swimming so it dries really quickly and I also have on an older pair of leggings so you don't have to go out and spend a hundred dollars on a swimming pair of leggings if you don't want to you can just wear old normal leggings that you have lying around and this goes for men too not just the ladies the two other places on your body that are probably going to be exposed if you don't cover them are your feet and your face. So on your feet you could wear either aqua socks or flippers if you're going snorkeling or diving. And then on your face you could wear a snorkel or just a pair of goggles if you want to protect your eyes. Lastly, I'd just like to mention that not all jellyfish stings are equal, so some are very, very mild and won't last more than a day, and others could give you a severe allergic reaction where you may be experiencing dizziness, nausea, or loss of focus, and things like that. If that does happen, please seek medical attention as well. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please do not be afraid of jellyfish, just be prepared. And if you'd like to hear the story of my own personal jellyfish sting, please subscribe to my channel and I will have a video coming up where I tell you the story of my fairly intense jellyfish sting. 
If you have ever been stung by a jellyfish, please leave a comment below and tell me the story because I would really be curious to hear about it. I've been stung about four times now, with the fourth time being the worst. So I'd love to hear some of your stories if you've been stung in the past as well. Also, stay tuned for another short video that will be coming out about the aftercare and signs to look for for a reappearing jellyfish sting. So I hope you all have a good day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!